Well, I once again haven't planned anything that I'm going to say except for the remix that I did for Sea Dog under my Champion Fever alias, which came out a couple of weeks ago. Actually, yeah, 21st of October. It came out on cassette, um, and the cassettes really, like, they sold out super fast. I think, actually, to be honest, there's probably a couple left, but I haven't claimed one, I feel like, because I made the track. I'd rather people who don't own the track themselves um, buy it. So at the same time, I, I was quite curious to see what it sounded like on cassette because um, I actually make quite a lot of music on a cassette four track in my room, in my bedroom, where I've got a little mini studio. I really love working like that with no computer. It's really old school. Everything kind of does have a crunchy, really present loud sound. So yeah, so recently I got this plugin called Cassette, funnily enough, wonder what it does. Uh, it's by Waves Factory. What it does, as you can probably tell, it mimics a cassette. So you got pro setting, home, and then micro, and, and then you can scroll through different things. So I've got the track, the track in Ableton here, loaded up, and I'm gonna play it through various different tapes, just to demo this plugin, basically, see what it does, tweak the settings, and, and, and let you hear what happens. So um, we're, it's almost like we're listening to it on a tape, but we're going to be able to change the tape and the settings and, and the time. 1978 we're starting with. Let's go. Okay, that's on. Let's turn the input up. It's wobbly. Stability is quite low, 17%. If I... <laughs> those little wobbles, those little flutters. So under the under the uh, the hood, you've got settings here. Saturation. Cassette. I guess that's how many times the cassette has been re-recorded. Whoa. The flutter is that wobbly thing again. I think. Oh no, maybe that's the wow. Wow depth, wow rate. I think flutter is the more the wobble. That sounds a well crusty. Okay. And yeah, so this is 1978. Let's try the next plugin, the next preset. Bassist. Whoa. These VU meters are quite cool. That's totally mashed it. play with this since I've owned it. I have used it as an effect on specific elements in a track um, to get that lo-fi lo feel which I really like. Um, yeah it does a good job I think. It's not the same as having a cassette. And you can totally kill it. Like um, Next preset. Chorusy. Well it's chorusy. That could be really cool on synths and stuff. Or like momentary on one section of a song. Like it's really phasey. And you had the stability setting, so that's basically. I think that's to do with how old the cassette player is. But yeah, moving that around you get some pretty, pretty cool effects. Dynamic. Right, next preset. Clean tape. 
the, the input's gone right down, so I guess that's just, yeah, not distorting in any way. That's much more subtle. So you could put drums through this and really distort them. Maybe parallel process stuff. There isn't a mix knob, or is there? Is there a mix knob in this? Oh yeah, there is. All right, so you could use this in parallel. So you could, yeah, go like 40% and then really mash it up. And it's blending in that, that dirt. That's, that is quite subtle. But yeah. Next preset. Crushed. Well, <laughs> pretty crushed. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, like these could, you could like have that automated for one little bit, for example, like a transition or something, like just have it going like... And then like, you know, back to clean. Well, that's noisy. Right, gonna start the track again. Um, so, factory little. A lot of these presets are probably designed to be, you know, specifically used for different things. Like little, I wouldn't imagine it be used on a whole track like this. It's probably overloading it. I like it though. Really phasey. So I wonder if we use the mix knob on this. Just bring it in. Again, so you can have that automated, for, like, just have a section, like, you know, just a special effects. Especially on vocals, or maybe guitars, or... Yeah, I'm definitely going to try that out. Uh, factory. Next one, movement. Oh, mad. That's really cool. No idea what it's doing, lots of the settings. So it's got some flutter. Azimuth, what's that? Oh, it's something with a stereo mix. Ugh. On headphones, that's weird. So that's doing a load to boosting stuff like the mix. But yeah, in the stereo field, that's really distorting the left and right bass. Oh, that could be really cool on bass and synths. So dry. It's bringing in this widening thing. That's good. Into that. Old synth. That's definitely much more mono, it's like... Oh yeah, the spread is... Um... That's pretty cool, I, I'm quite into having elements in a track that have been made mono, that were stereo, or just putting things in mono for, for a while. On a whole mix it can just... It's great for checking your mixes, making sure it works in mono. Or if you want, it, if you're producing something that specifically needs to sound old and really crusty, then you could use that old synth reporter. Right there we go. So it's a micro cassette that she's using. That could be great for little moments in vocals, or you know, snap that, have that kicking in just for you know, like this is the track. Anyway, yeah, that'd be cool. Reporters, that's just really makes it tiny. Tascam. So I've got a Tascam. Does it sound like this? Do you know what? I, I could probably pl play the, this remix through my Tascam and share it somewhere. I'll talk to the band. I like how it's written the name of the track on the on the tape though. Sea Dog, sea Dog Remix. It's pretty cool. So this is Tascam. 
else? And there's, I think, one more. Yeah, warm pad. Oh, that's nice. I like it. What's it like on the intro? Because the intro is really bright. So I guess it's taken off some of the top end. Stability randomness. So, yeah, these are all, like... Stuff you could automate, I guess. And you could have... You could tweak away. So this is giving some distortion. To the left and right. Whoa, yeah, it's mashing it up. But with the mix knob, you get this chorusy thing. That's pretty cool. And that's cool. So if you turn the input down, it's treating it as if the tape is all the noise. The, the noise floor is not being used up. So it brings in that white noise. And again, white noise is a great thing for texture and effect, you know, not in, you can have it running in subtly in different bits to bring in, like... It's pretty cool, I like that. And then if you look at the other drop-down, it's got more. And there's a whole ton more, <laughs> ton more presets, which I didn't realise were there, so I'm not going to have time to go through those, but... You can see by the names, so lo-fi drums, radio tone, brilliant, love that. That could be great for an intro, like have it coming in, you know, like just a drop, it's certainly pretty loud, but um, let's do a few of these, distorted, wow, that's great. And then, okay, so obviously some of these are much more um, extreme settings. So yeah, that's the that's cassette by Waves Factory. At least a little bit of showing you what that's like. And um, hopefully, if you, well, when you buy the cassette from Austerity Records of this EP, you'll hear what it actually sounds like on the tape. And I've never, I haven't yet to hear it on the tape. Oh, my mic stopped. I'm yet to hear it on the tape. So um, maybe I'll find out at some point what it really does sound like. Okay, thanks for watching.